2022 is setting up to be another interesting year for the comic collecting hobby. Values are still climbing for some books, while others are still in the dip, coming off of the 2021 highs. I'm a big Silver Age Marvel fan, so in this video, I'm going to name five Silver Age Marvel books that I would prioritize in 2022, and I'll tell you why I picked them. This video is sponsored by MySlabs.com. We'll have more on them later. The success of the MCU has driven a large swath of collectors and investors to focus in on Marvel keys. And a fair amount of those keys were released in the Silver Age of comics. As speculation has set in, the value of Silver Age keys began increasing rapidly over the past several years, with some of the steepest increases in value coming over the course of just a few months in 2021. For collectors that are actively chasing Silver Age books, it can be a daunting task due to the volume of issues, and then there's the prices. Finding the best place to start can be a paralyzing task, so let's dive into the top five Silver Age comics I would prioritize picking up in 2022. A quick disclaimer, these are just suggestions. I think these five books have a lot of great qualities and are extremely collectible, but as I always say, be opportunistic. If you have the opportunity to pick up some great Silver Age books that aren't on the list or really anything else that you want to add to your collection, pull the trigger. The important thing is to be actively working towards your collecting goals. Now let's get into the books. Let's start off with Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange 169 is our number five Silver Age Marvel book to prioritize for 2022. The next movie on the MCU slate is Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and MCU mastermind Kevin Feige recently told Variety that Doctor Strange is the new anchor of the MCU. Whereas the previous anchor of the MCU had the good fortune to have a classic cover for his first appearance, Poor Doctor Strange has not been so fortunate. In fact, it took nearly five years following his debut in Strange Tales 110 for Doctor Strange to get an iconic cover. But, you know, if you have to wait for your first decent cover, I suppose it's okay to hold it back for your first ever solo titled issue. Sales for CGC 6.0 copies are bringing an average price of $515 over nine sales in the last 90 days, while the 12 month average is $439. Two of the last three sales have been for $600 or more for a book that had an average sales price of $160 back in 2020. CGC 4.0s, which used to sell for under $100 in 2020, are now selling for more than $300. So long story short, this is not a new story. I've seen this one before. Doctor Strange 169 is the new Iron Man 1. Sometimes a book gets hot because it's the consolation prize for another more desirable and often more expensive issue. For a while, I thought that was the case with our number four book, Fantastic Four number 49 but I don't feel that way anymore. For years, FF49 was the less cool younger brother of FF48 because everybody loved the Silver Surfer and wanted to have that character's first appearance. Fast forward to the last three years and Fantastic Four 48 has become brutally expensive for a 1966 Marvel issue. As FF48 has priced out more and more collectors, people have begun to turn to Fantastic Four 49. And let's be honest, FF49 is the more aesthetically pleasing of the two. Featuring the first full appearance of Galactus, the second appearance of the Silver Surfer, and the badass first cover appearance for the both of them, the cover to this issue blows FF48's cover out of the water. In 2020, CGC 4.0 copies were selling for an average price of $458, whereas today, those same 4.0s are selling for an average price of $1,158 across six sales in the last 90 days. This issue peaked at $1,295 back in August of 2021. The dip for FF49 has been very light, as there are only two recorded sales under $1,000 since that August peak sale. In fact, a single sale in November of 2021 exceeded the peak bubble price when it sold for $1,300 following the price correction that was seen in the early fall of 2021. 
Savage Land speculation has been all of the rage lately, and you've likely heard discussions about X-Men number 10. If you've been following the channel for long, then you've even heard about X-Men 10 on this channel, as Bry from Bry's Comics highlighted this issue back in December of 2021 when Bry, Spiegelhaus, and myself brought you a series of videos focusing on undervalued comic book specs. In that conversation, the number three book was front of mind for me. Coming in at number three is X-Men number 60. If you're not familiar with the Savage Land, it's a lost prehistoric area that's concealed within Antarctica. And what does every prehistoric habitat need? It needs dinosaurs, or dinosaur-like mutants anyway. This is where Sauron comes in, an energy vampire that transforms into a humanoid pteranodon when he absorbs the energy of a mutant. Sauron has a long history with the Savage Land and would likely make an appearance if and when we see it in the MCU. If Savage Land speculation isn't your thing, then let's just look at this book for what it is. X-Men 60 is a Neil Adams classic. I may be a little bit biased, but I do love the cover to this issue, and Sauron has always been a favorite X-Men character of mine. Beyond that, X-Men 60 is still quite affordable. CGC 8.0 copies have an average sales price of just $337 over the last 12 months, having previously been selling for an average of $185 back in 2020. CGC 9.2 copies can be had for well under $1,000, averaging only $636 over the most recent 12 months. For comparison, 6.0 copies of X-Men 10 are currently averaging $640 in the last 90 days. This video is brought to you by MySlabs.com, a great online option for buying and selling comics, cards, and more. The platform designed by collectors for collectors just got even better. MySlabs.com is proud to now feature dedicated sections for both raw cards and raw comic books. Browse over 100,000 slab collectibles authenticated by the industry's most trusted grading companies. Then check out a massive selection of sealed wax and now raw singles and raw lots. Join a passionate, no-nonsense community of nearly 50,000 members and enjoy some of the best buyer and seller protection in the business. And as always, MySlabs offers one of the most disruptive pricing models in the hobby with seller fees as low as only 1%. So the next time you're forced to pay 10%, 20% or more to sell something from your collection, head over to MySlabs.com, the low-fee marketplace by collectors for collectors. Check out MySlabs.com for all of your buying and selling needs. With seller's fees of 1% for slab books and 3% for raw books, MySlabs.com's fees are some of the most competitive you will find. Thank you to MySlabs.com for sponsoring this video. Looking ahead to what will be a very busy 2023, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the project that we seem to know the most about right now. Most notably, we know that him, or Adam Warlock, who was teased at the end of Guardians Volume 2, will be making his official MCU introduction. Despite this being common knowledge in the market, Thor 165, the first full appearance of Warlock, is currently still in a bit of a value dip and presents as a solid buy the dip opportunity. Also featuring Warlock's first cover appearance, the black background of this cover makes this one fairly tough to find in high grade with less than 13% of the total census population grading in at 9.0 or higher. Multiple grades are currently seeing decreases in the 90 day average sales price compared to their 12 month average prices. CGC 6.0s are one of those grades that are trending lower with a 90 day average sales price of $535. However, as is seen across most grades that are decreasing when compared to their 12 month averages, the current 90 day average sales price is still higher than the 2021 average sales price. For the 6.0 specifically, the 90 day average sales price of 535 reflects a 10% increase in value compared to the 2021 average sales price of $486. We're a little over 13 months out from the release of Guardians Volume 3 
and there are several MCU projects on the slate between now and May 2023. That means that deals may be had for issues like Thor 165, while the market focuses on the current flavor of the week. The number one Silver Age Marvel book I would prioritize in 2022 is Amazing Spider-Man number 50. This book is a must have for several reasons. First and foremost, it's the first appearance of the Kingpin. There are not many villains that transcend a single hero's rogues gallery, and Kingpin has been a top tier Spider-Man and Daredevil villain for decades now. Secondly, the John Romita cover is the stuff dreams are made of. Thirdly, the spider suit in the trash can as Peter walks away in the rain splash page is better than 75% of the covers Marvel published in the entirety of the 1960s. Seriously. After the Kingpin made the jump from the Netflix universe to the MCU proper in the Disney Plus Hawkeye show last year, ASM 50 became one of the first books to mount a strong recovery in regards to value following the price correction the market saw as a whole last fall. In fact, even though it's off its recent monthly average high of $1,150 for a CGC 4.0, which was seen back in January 2022, the value is up 9.6% in March 2022 over the peak sales month of August in the 2021 bubble. With the March average price, though it is just a single sale, it comes in at $970, while the average sales price in August 2021 was $935 across two sales. So what does all that mean? It means Amazing Spider-Man 50 is continuing to steadily increase in value and is rapidly approaching the point where most collectors will be priced out of it in the near future. Sales for CGC 2.0s have averaged north of $500 for the last 12 months and continue to climb, and anything over a CGC 3.0 is most certainly going to cost you four figures to bring home. For this reason, Amazing Spider-Man 50 is the number one Silver Age Marvel book I would prioritize in 2022. There is no shortage of great Silver Age Marvel issues that are worth the time, money, and effort to track down. What Silver Age books are on your shortlist for 2022? Let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to check out myslabs.com and tell them Como sent you. If you'd like to check out more content related collecting or investing in comics, I recommend one of these two videos right over here. Collect responsibly, and I'll see you in the next video.